Good morning, welcome to Planet Mojo. Today, I'm gonna to be putting roof deck on. I have one cut with the edge painted. Um, I'll talk more about that later and I got it up there. I've actually been filming for two hours, something like that. What time is it? 10 o'clock, so yeah, about three hours. But the film is no good, so I'm starting over. What happened is I set this on time-lapse and it was on time-lapse photo instead of time-lapse video. I've had this problem before. The, the controls are right next to each other and when you have like the low sun that we have this time of year, you can't see the backlit screen. So sometimes it goes into time-lapse photo, which is useless. You can't, you can't do a damn thing with it. I had, you know, 20,000 separate images and I'm sure you don't want to watch a slideshow. I have to do mostly time lapse today because I got to get done whatever I can get done. We have, uh, it's like every other day is rain, which is why I painted the edge on that. I can't have any swelling on this stuff. I'm going to try gluing the first one in you know, gluing just takes more time, but it makes an incredibly strong structure. So I'm going to start again. Oh, and I, dis I took off all the staging, which was along that side. I moved it all over here, put some steps here. The sheet is slid over there. So I don't know how much I'm going to be able to uh, film. I wanted to do an intro and then just set the camera up for most of the rest of the day, but ah, damn. Yeah, somebody had told me that there's a way to set this so that it doesn't go into the into the time lapse photo mode, but I could not find it and I looked all over on the menus on this thing and I looked online. I could not find it. I'm going to try again tonight. This is actually the replacement camera. Uh, my old GoPro Hero 6 crashed constantly. It overheated and crashed and had lots of problems with it. This one hasn't crashed yet, but that really pisses me off. When I set up the next one, I'm going to get the Hero 8. Maybe a mistake, but I have all the uh, accessories and stuff for it, so I don't want to switch cameras at, at this point. A uh, damn. So, uh, in the forecast, there was two days at the end of the coming week. Today is Saturday. There was two days at the end of the week that were going to be nice. I planned on trying to get this roof on and then get it, get the rubber on it on those two days or get it prepped before that. But it does not look like that's happening anymore, at least in the current forecast. So I really can't trust this forecast. So what I'm going to do is start putting the damn roof on and... I'm going to try putting plastic over it. I'm going to work from the high end down. That way if I got one row open, I can plastic it real easy and the water will drain real easy. Once I get up all the way up to the end, the water will go over the edge and it, I don't know, it might um, puddle there on those cleats and get the wood extra wet. This needs to be pretty dry when I put the, the rubber membrane on, so I want to keep it as dry as possible. I'll put plastic over it like this, 
this kept this really nice and dry over the rain yesterday so at any time I can peel this back and put foam on hopefully I can do something similar with the roof I got to get the all the decking in sand any uh, bumps or anything touch up the edges I got to put that rubber roof in and I have really no idea other than the videos what I'm doing hopefully I get that right and then uh, oh actually I got to cut the scupper holes um, before I put the rubber on put the rubber roofing right over the scupper holes then trim out the scupper hole it's a rectangle uh, push that flap down is what I'm gonna do they just cut it out completely in the video I saw then you push the scupper through the hole nail it down with copper nails because it's copper and then you put your glue on around the edges you glue rubber um, I forget what it's called but it's um, it's made for like drip edges and stuff it'll go over metal so I got to get all that done and I need dry and warm enough days and we're running out of them so again I don't know how much I'll be able to video now but I'll I'll try to get as much as possible <laughs> Okay, I'm back from a quick lunch. I have one row in and I moved the, the staging and I have two of my parts cut and ready to go. I have the first one for here. The second one's a full one. 
so I'll need to measure that third one. Then the next one I have pre-cut is for the next row. So hopefully I can blast ahead. Once you have everything set up and have all the tools out and all that stuff, things go so much quicker, but it is quite the putz. I'm putting glue and screws. Well, I'm gluing and screwing every panel and I'm putting screws every six inches. So it's sturdy as all get out, but it does take a little while. So let me get that next panel. It's a half panel. Let me get it up there and get back to work.
Okay, all done for the day. You can really hear the echo in here now. I have three rows of the roof decking in. The sun has set. It's getting dark quick, so I gotta wrap this up before I lose light. All went pretty well. I got a little jiggy with some of these, uh, with the alignment on some of these panels, but they're all really nice and secure and glued and screwed down so all is well i put some plastic might be able to see that where this meets the house um it can water can get behind the foam the way it is right now so i put some temporary plastic up there and just got everything all cleaned up yeah it's nice to see the the stack of osb gone the remaining sheets are in the greenhouse and i'm going to get them on as soon as there's another break in the weather the way the weather looked this morning i believe the day after tomorrow may be a clear day that i can get up there and finish at least getting the sheeting on and then the way it's been going back and forth but they had uh thursday and friday both as sunny days and it kind of goes back and forth with thursday they this morning they had it as rain in the in the morning or something like that i'm really hoping for two sunny days at the end of the week that should i want two days to do the the rubber on the roof never done it before and i'm kind of anxious about it so having two days to do it would be really nice even though it um, shouldn't take two days but it all depends on the weather i'm gonna go check the weather right now i got a few things that i need to get for the wrap up so i'm gonna run to town tomorrow if it indeed does rain tomorrow if it doesn't i'll just keep going on this but anyway if you want to see that stuff make sure you subscribe and click on the update icon so you're notified when i post new videos if you have any questions or comments make sure you put them in the comment section below i generally answer them all and if you like and or share the video it helps the channel out greatly Thanks for watching and have a great day.